It is... Today is Wednesday. Yesterday was not Wednesday. Even though I started it off saying yesterday was Wednesday, I have no idea what day it is. I'm not working. <sighs> I have no idea. It's something. Something uppity. I like it. This, I think, is there is an EDM channel. I'm not familiar with EDM, but I like it. <sighs> it is uh, April 15th, 2012. It's also not March, like I started off yesterday. It is April. Uh, 7.33 p.m. My name is Dakar Sveko. I think today we're playing uh, Risk of Rain 2. Let's bought it. Uh, people are sending me sending me messages. My watch says. <sighs> Definitely to tickle porn. That's where I got it. <laughs> yeah. Let's get rain too. Just bought it. I've been, uh, I keep trying to, uh, talk myself out of it, but it was on sale on CD keys for like $10 and change. So, hey, why the hell not? <sighs> and I'm starting early today. Actually, I've been saying like the last week or two that I was going to, uh, start like, in the afternoon, I, I never end up doing it, because, you know, I'm lazy. It is cheap. I mean, you can't beat a game for $10 and change. Huh. You do it on your phone, or do it on a computer? Weird. You know, a VPN or anything? It's like, I know I try to do VPNs for me and credit cards, they don't mix. Yeah, you know, like when I bought my gun while I was on the VPN. <laughs> that went over badly. <laughs> oh boy. It's possible. I know, like, a lot of the credit cards right now are on, like, crazy lockdown. I went into the gas station. And they actually had to put in my CID, the last four of my number. They had to have uh, my zip code and all, all a bunch of other stuff. And they said that they're at a gas station, mind you. Uh, and they were their credit card authorization stuff was like on major lockdown because they didn't know like if the economy would crash and them not get their money. Who knows? Just give me one chance. How do I do this with uh, no vocals? Not my typical music. <laughs> yeah. It gets bad when uh, even a drug dealer requires a uh, a piss sample. You want to make sure you're responsible. Sound like a contract. Wait, man, everybody's messaging me now that I uh, started, to go, started to go on. Hit, right? 
<laughs> that was the idea. The news for today is there is no news. News has been canceled. There's a glow behind me? I don't see a globe. <laughs> I mean, for me, technically it's in front of me. Important story about Eastern European diplomatic issues. Uh, there is no Eastern European areas anymore. God. Penguins have taken over. Created their own union. Definitely not a shortage of penguins. Now there's an overpopulation. Everybody's wearing suits. <laughs> credible sources. By credible sources, I mean people with low credit. Both financially and newsworthiness. <laughs> Actually, I do have a uh, a thing meant for like news stuff. I haven't figured out how to adapt it into here yet, but I will make it happen. I will show you what I mean. I can find it. It's obviously not going to work correctly because it's behind me and it needs to actually be in front of me. <laughs> I'm getting out of the way. I'm going the wrong way. Uh, breaking news, y'all. <laughs> I got to make it transparent. fits perfectly too. That's right. Or getting some get some code going on behind me. Right where my globe was. Uh, where did I have that? I have a different globe that looks absolutely awful. Oh man, I realized the thing was so big. Holy crap. I think it's like 4K. <laughs> Whoops. stuff? No, it's good. All right. Yep. That's right. Official. What I need to have done. <sighs> well, we've killed uh, 20 minutes so far. Or, well, 10. Pretty soon you'll be on, too. <laughs> yeah, pretty much what this should be right now, huh? I would love to do a just chatting thing, but you know what? I can't make up conversation that well. 
I got about a good 10 minutes and I'm like, so what, what, what y'all want to talk about? Viewer. Person. <laughs> So yeah, this uh, tablet app, the uh, Streamlabs deck thing, awesome. I dig it. I got like way too many sources and stuff in here, but I'm kind of kind of getting into fit. Which is pretty good. <laughs> just chatting, just staring. That'd be awesome. <laughs> I wish we could make our own. Categories. Four hour stream of just. Of just. Drool. <laughs> and not even staring at the camera, just. <laughs> uh, yeah, I would too. Thank you for playing Risk of Rain 2. Hey, don't get ahead of yourself. I haven't started yet. Probably should start off for thanks for buying it. I have done that. I do that already. I was trying to watch my stream from last night. Like, apparently my mic was, like, cutting out, like, most of the time, so it li I literally was just staring, and it looked like I was mumbling. Occasionally it was a... I guess I had the sensitivity set a little too high. Or low. I don't know. Uh, what's it called? Streamlabs. Get this. Deck. Oh. Hard to remember. It looks like... It depends on what you're currently set on. But it looks kind of a little bit like that. Yeah. What kind of looks like. If I want to sit here and uh, put it in studio mode, and then if I want to go here and transition, it does it. I can go back to live scene and transition, and it does it. And it's like I'm surprised at how fast it is. I didn't expect it to be like you know, a wireless tablet, obviously, but it's uh. It's pretty darn quick. I can mute different sources. Like, pretty much everything you have, it's available. So, like, I can just press a button, and then I'll... You couldn't hear me because my mic was muted. But I didn't even have to touch my keyboard or my mic. It's even better than my, uh... Hot keys or find binded keys. That's it. Yeah. Man, my machine, machine is running so much better now. TV usage, 34%. Can't beat that. <laughs> they haven't hit an Android version. You have, an, you have an Android tablet, don't you? At least you have, oh, I know you use your phone. You can run it on your phone, too. Gotcha. Yeah, you, you have an old iPad? Did not realize that. Well, sell that shit and get a newer one. Or a good Android one. You get like a Galaxy tab for super cheap.
Or if you got an old cell phone running around, holding, you know, an old cell phone sitting around. I've got like a crate full of them. I'll send you one if you need one. I think. Actually, no, those are all Windows Mobile. I think I already got rid of most of my Android phones. I probably have one somewhere if you need it. I'll see if it works. Yeah, I should have one somewhere. Probably it'll be kind of small, but I think it'll work. Yeah. Ooh, logbook is new. Read lore, character details. How to unlock new content. I haven't unlocked any content. Look at all them locks. Uh, settings. He's looking here so far is kind of fun. Not surprised. <clears throat> yeah. The t Windows 10 system or the Windows XP system you were talking about earlier? I mean, you can just use like a, uh, I just use my Microsoft account. You should be able to go into local accounts and create one if you don't want to uh, do a Microsoft account. Are you still on this in the process of setup? Because you can tell it to only use a local account instead. Should let you do it without having to go into crazy depths of doing it. Like when I did mine originally, I just I remember there's like a thing at the bottom right where you had to check a box and just said you didn't want to use your Microsoft account and then it would just set up a local account instead. I didn't have to go to like the safe mode or anything, I just did it. It's already past the 30 days it's probably not gonna let you do it you have to do it before the 30 days is up that's their one caveat you can use it for 30 days but if it's been over that 30 days you can't even like do a crack or anything you gotta do it before all that happens otherwise you gotta reinstall Is it a legit copy or no? Uh, you should just be able to read. Do you still have the key for it? You should just be able to launch the. Um, if you're able to get into a command prompt or into safe mode, you can actually have the registration come up. There's a command for it. I can't remember what it is. it's the same and this version is the rest <laughs> 500 character limit
That was close enough. Try that. You shouldn't have to do the phone option in that thing, though. I think you can do the uh, normal key in that UI, it pops up. I didn't realize that that uh, thing had the phone activation on it, but it should still bring up the same thing, unless they've changed it. You see, there's another. Chin. Sure. They make it a pain in the butt skis. Yeah, I remember uh, years ago when I got my legal copy of XP, I uh, every time I had to reinstall the stupid thing, the online activation never worked. I always, I always had to call them to do it. And like they gave me the third degree. I'm like, at one point, like my motherboard went bad. So I, actually, no, that's what it was. I upgraded the RAM. Like, we were still living in, the, uh, in our uh, apartment over in, uh, off of um, the Carlton. And uh, when I built that machine, like, I built the machine, and then I realized uh, I I think I was running 256 meg of RAM at the time, maybe 512. And then I upgraded, because I was only doing single channel, so I upgraded the RAM, and it, as soon as I put the second stick in, it made, it's like, this is not a legitimate copy of Windows, you need to reactivate. I'm like, son of a bitch, and then it wouldn't take my key. I had to literally call, and like they gave me like the third degree as far as I can't be running into multiple machines. I'm like it's the same freaking machine, so they gave me they reactivated it for me. They gave me a code to put in to override it, and then like two or three weeks later, all right, cool, have fun, <laughs> baby stuff. Just to finish my conversation, in case there's anybody else here, I. uh Bought a new video card, put that in, it made me reactivate it again. I had to go through the whole thing and like, this is like your fifth reactivation. I'm like, that's not my fault. Like, your shit keeps on making me reactivate it. It's the same freaking computer. Long story short, I locked that thing in a fire safe proof or fire safe box and like multiple layers of stuff so it would never get damaged. Because back then, if you didn't have the same exact CD, that key would not work. Even if it's the same version of Windows, if you install it from a different disk, it would not work. Because each one had a build, and if it wasn't that build, it wouldn't work. And uh, yeah, so eventually that CD wrapped it in a CD case, in a sleeve, in a CD case, in a box, then wrapped in it, and then put it into a fire fireproof like little safe box. The disk cracked. Locked up. Temperature controlled. Humidity controlled. So yeah. Thank God everything is digital now. We'll never buy another physical disc, unless it's USB. But even now, like my versions of uh, Windows 10 that I have, and my server versions I have, uh, even I have like legit physical copies, I don't even use the physical copies. Because by the time you reinstall it, like a year or two later, there's like been 200 updates since then. So you just download the newer, newer version, use your same CD key, or get to go, or registration key. Video games, remember that? We're supposed to be playing uh, Risk of Rain 2. <laughs> All right, uh, we're setting up settings. I'm actually technically running at 75 hertz, because that's what my monitor is. We think we don't need it. We're running at 60 frames, we're at 270. Oh! Okay. Whatevs. Uh, Alright, that looks good. There's an apply option. Apparently not. Uh, type saw. Out of resolution. Like a detect or something. I'll leave it at default, I guess. Uh, anyways, 
heck? What is this? Meet in a fixed seed challenge with other players online. Oh no. That's cool. Single player. Uh. I got one option. Commando is a jack of all trades. Is reliable reliable in all situations of the game. Everything's locked, so I don't much any options there. Difficulty. Grizzle. Reduce difficulty. Don't want to do that. Rainstorm. This is the way the game is meant to be played. Test your abilities and skills against formidable foes. Monsoon for hardcore players. Every bend introduces pain and horrors of the planet. You will die. Yeah. All right. I can't customize any color or anything. I like color anyways. It's all right. Let's do this. Hi, music. Titanic planes. I should probably grab the keyboard. All right. Oh boy. We don't waste any time, huh? Ah! Oh, that was neat. Age one. We count up or down. Right top. Oh, my. oh boy! Ugh. Oh jeez. Oh, neat. Why is there so many bad guys around here? I didn't realize I'd be like non-stop running around. I thought I would eventually like build stuff. Maybe not. Welcome back. Like as soon as I hit the ground, I had these douches all over me. I don't really know what I'm supposed to do yet.
What is this thing? I don't know what this is. Alright, well, it was a good game. Move on, let's try something else. Wait, did we do anything with this thing? I right, hear something. Oh, that's a big guy. Here's the laser. I really don't understand what I'm supposed to be doing yet. Other than there's like tons of mobs all over the place and they never stop. Or something. I don't know where it's coming from. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh dang, cocking the hammer. I kind of want to go down here and look around, but every time I do, I get like, oh jeez, slammed like crap. What's this thing? How am I supposed to open it? I don't know. Things told me. Need to open. That makes sense. This. Oh, that's neat. Oh, cool. Find and activate the teleporter is my objective. How am I supposed to find that crap? That was that good. What is M1 and 2? Alright, mouse 1 and mouse 2? Ooh, I died. Whoops! Collected, I got a tri tip dagger. Tri tip dagger. Oh, 
find and activate the teleporter. Why, why are you gonna open? I have no idea what this thing is. He's a freaking ways. It's definitely not a slow game, I can tell you that. I opened up this other box I saw over here earlier. This requires $25, I think is what they're talking about, I assume. Up or down? Oh, yeah, I got a guitar. That's gonna help. Oh, yeah, I got a guitar. How am I supposed to survive this?
So when do I start unlocking their stuff? Activate the teleport. That is. is. That it? Oh boy. dollars don't know what that did supposed to be doing. Good grief where all these guys come from.
Holy crap. as bad as much as that as I can take because I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. Or if I don't know what I'm doing, it's not become enjoyable. Monster Log Stone Goblin. Let's quit the menu. are just things I've discovered, I think? Cool. That's a cool game. I just don't get it. So I'm going to have to go learn. Because I don't know. I don't know. play next I played a lot of Subnautica yesterday. I really wish they had released their update. I would go play some Fallout 76 since they added to the Steam and did their update, but I am so confused on that game right now. I would do Space Engineers, but it seems like that game pretty much is only any good if you play with uh, a bunch of other people. Um, I played it a little bit. I was not all that impressed. Same thing with Planet Nomads. I just go do Final Fantasy fourteen. I can't figure it. There's Grid Two, which I've actually never played. Because I played it for sixty seven minutes, so apparently I did at some point. Uh, 
I forgot what I do have. Posted in Twitch. I'm kind of curious. Is in here. No, I can't believe it. It's driving me nuts. I'm talking about the game, the repopulation. It's a. Uh... The game that uh, I bought years ago, it was supposed to be highly influenced by Star Wars Galaxies and uh, Ultima Online. I don't know how those two. No. Anyways, they uh, used the hero engine or something of the sort. And uh, something happened with licensing and they ended up having to scrap the whole game. And yeah, I bought it early access. And. To not leave everybody without a game that they paid for, they released another game, which was pretty much like Ark, but very limited. And then they rebuilt Repopulation in the meantime. And um, I've tried logging into the server. There's only one server, and I've logged in a couple times over the last few months, and I was literally the only person on. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I was thinking about just going to see what it looks like, but... Nah. There's Temtem, which I've only played the intro for so far. I know what I want to play. It's a story-based game. I have it on GOG game. Got it super cheap. One of their sales. Firewatch, I think. Never played it. Here, give it a shot. Watch. Play. Adjust them settings. Oh, welcome back. I wouldn't say I got fed up with it. Uh, I mean, it's fun. I just have absolutely n no idea what the hell's going on on it. Um, so I figured I'd go watch a video. I, I watched something about it earlier, and they said, like, it's almost mandatory to play with other people. Otherwise, it gets kind of crazy. And it was. Like, within, like, five minutes every round, I would end up getting swamped and had no idea how to get out of it. And the what objective, I could never find the objective. Which I'm sure is in there somewhere. It looks like it can be a lot of fun, but playing it by myself and not knowing what I'm doing at all uh, makes it kind of difficult. I'm sure it is fun to play, but again, I need to, I need to know what's going on first. I won. I totally beat the game. Probably worth 10 bucks. <laughs> game's called Firewatch. I literally just typed in Firewood. Uh, what was the, uh... What was my button I had for? <sighs> Any use. Uh, let's see. Settings. Boy, how far down here do I have to go to get to 1920 by 1080? Here it is. Yes.
Ultra. Trolls? Sure. All right. New game. Campo Santo presents. Voter Cup, 18 seconds. Do I? Am I supposed to click something? Oh. Well, we'd have been here forever. It would have been the blank stare again. She's about your age, late 20s. <laughs> no, she's not. Uh, laughing with well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby. See you, Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. You approach her. You are drunk. So what, so what you, so what's your, you know, major? You, you're pretty. Uh, I'm drunk. I probably can't say that when I'm... Uh, yeah, sure. I make an attempt. You slur the word major, and it smells like Coors. Nope. Definitely would not smell like Coors. Uh, you can give an awkward smile. You give an awkward smile. <laughs> That's a hat. Evolutionary biology, she says, and I'm a professor. Oh, you reply. What's yours? She asks. She sniffs in the air. Toxicology. <laughs> Tilt up, I guess. <laughs> Was that a bird, you ask? She says definitely. Worried she hurt your feelings, she asks if you want to split a cheeseburger. I say, go get your own fucking cheeseburger. One week later, you are Julia's boyfriend. Cut to elevator scene with a hippie bag? Okie dokie. Uh, this is awkward. Am I wearing clothes? I am wearing clothes! Okay, good. Whew. Different dream. One, two, three, four. Eight, seven, six, five. Mm. Old ass pickup truck. I gotta have to fix it. Uh, you might want to put your tailgate up there, but you're gonna lose your bag. Just saying. I've seen this movie. You date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. Okay. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Julia wants to get a dog. Wow. Nice. With her feet, I can't do it. A former factor. Take a look. It's game. We'll have to wait. Up. 
Hey, Wincast, how you doing? Welcome, Matt and Wincast. Ooh, nice. All right, we got that though. Unsanitary. Thanks for the good luck. I think that's a dude. What? Because my feet are on this controller. What? I'm not, I'm not using this controller with my hands. Messed up the first part, but that second part was nice and clean. <laughs> Damn it. Forgot my new strat, gotta jump over that block. Thanks, Windcast. Yeah, I mean, I've been doing this off and on, so I'm starting to get better at it for sure. Okay. That's uh interesting. Dude is in dire need of a pedicure though, I can tell you that right now. Them, them, them feet are pretty jacked up. And he's got the feet of it. Of a Vietnamese girl. And I don't mean like a well manicured one. Like in the Vietnamese jungle. I don't know. Julia wants to get a dog. There's a scruffy, undersized beagle Julia is in love with. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but general, gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. Pick up the beagle. She names him Bucket. We adopt the German Shepherd. The Shepherd and name him Mayhem. Okay, I mean, either one are going to shed like all get out. <laughs> I <don't watch. laughs> I don't watch. I mean, I love beagles. I grew up at beagles. But they shed all over the freaking place. Never had a shepherd. But they are a lot smarter than beagles are. And who can go wrong with a name? Mayhem. Uh, <laughs> Let's go with the shepherd. They can kick ass. Mayhem's an excellent dog. He loves wrestling with you, Mark, and goes with Julia on her runs. Even though he's too big to bring to school, Julia loves him all the same. Mayhem is a friend, child, and pet, all rolled into one. Uh, 1979, you talk out on the deck. It's summer, 9.30 p.m., and the heat still radiates off the high desert. Boy, how about these multiple choice options with one? What do you think about kids, she asks. You just got a freaking dog and now you want kids to make Jesus. Kids, they're not very smart or good at much. I'm saying if you and I have some, a couple little idiots, that would be pretty good. Or one day, why rush? Yeah, we just got a freaking dog. She looks away out towards the mountains. You have plenty of time, right? Speak for yourself, mister. Don't worry assure her. You tell her she has the body of an undergrad. My ovaries didn't get <laughs> the memo, she says. Sorry, laughing it off. One day, okay. Okay, one day, she says. Six months later, you get engaged lying in bed on a Sunday The 
hell are we doing out in the middle of the woods? Thought we were laying in bed. Alright. So confused. Thoroughfare Trailhead. Do not forget to check in. No fireworks. Here in their country. Learn to live with bears. Morning Thoroughfare Trail. It is not recommended for inexperienced hikers. No fireworks. Where's the social distancing fire? Stay 13 feet away from each other. Where'd my backpack go? Am I wearing it? Notes and documents. None. Uh, I want to go where the gate is locked. How the hell did I get in here? This is locked. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Fire danger today. Apparently there is no run option in. just going into the woods it's Thursday night and Julia is four hours late she doesn't call you are worried getting angry I walked in after you're to bed she's not quite drunk but she's clearly been having a fun time you write she you fight when she gets between the sheets <laughs> I know what that means uh, uh, oh uh, uh. You call her an inconsiderate asshole. Tells you to fuck yourself, not to be such a baby. You call her selfish. She knows you mean it, and it hurts her feelings. A year later, 1981. Julia is still. Julia still likes to draw. <laughs> right they don't want us to get together and just dance just gotta dance Julia still likes to draw she draws plants for her research she draws all the plants she draws you you pose and flex like a man or a he-man you frolic like Victoria's secret model oh boy you look awesome. We're in some sort of hell infested forest. Uh, what? Walking slow as hell. Two forks. Fire lockout. Holy shit, that's far. Eight more miles till. That is way too much work. Space bar to climb over an obstructions. Boy. We are getting quite the workout. Scorching sun. Four year later, 1982. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking mayhem at night. Remember mayhem. There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. <laughs> right? <laughs> mayhem runs away. Made me move fuck to the dog. 
Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she is stressed. You confront the attacker. You scare him away. You beat his goddamn face then. Goddamn right. Your arms get cut up by the beat the guy. Your arms get cut up, but you beat the guy to a pulp. I can't talk or read or write. You don't feel very tough. You cry your eyes out before the cops show up. <laughs> Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say okay. You don't want to go that way either. From then on, walk by the river. Good God, 1984. Plans to have kids get waylaid by work. The hell's waylaid? Judah gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut. Geography bitches. 2,000 miles away. It's a great job. Associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. You convince her to not take the job. Agree if she commutes back and forth. Holy fuck, I'm inconsiderate. You ask her if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says that'll be hard, but she'll do it to move. Or if you won't move. You tell her not to pass it up if it's what she wants. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder three times each semester. Mother of God. 1985. Good guy. Ha. Oh. Oh. Surely they have could have gotten a narrator for this. This is so long. <sighs> 1985. Julia is sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. She was found crying in the stairwell. You say that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it. You make macaroni, drink wine, and try to forget about it. It works. You watch Dallas on TV and sleep together on the couch. I am in the motherfucking woods again. I was on a couch. Captain's log. So, hello! <laughs> All right. Mayhem. Is that, we're going to cut to the, about the dog? How about this journal? Mayhem is getting older. He's got silver hair down his back and slows down at night. how the sentence runs together you and Julia walk him to the bar to see your friends and it feels like nothing has changed Julia goes back to university 1987 feels like I have been reading this thing for years Julia's affliction gets worse she can't remember things in class her research is in shambles she drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason. It has to be brought home by the police. She is devastated. She is sent home on permanent medical leave. Someday you get the Julia some days you get the Julia call Julia who calls you a dope. An unborn child, little idiot. Other days you get a stranger. Pulls you into bed to make love after five minutes. She goes into a panic, believing her dad is at the door. Word. You tell her family. They are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while, you visit you. For a while, your friends come by the little things. Come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. 
Our friends have been drugging her. 1988. Can we, like, jump forward or something further? You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. Daniel fellow. He suggests that, da that Julia would live somewhere else. Somewhere with 24-hour care. A home. His home. It visits. It sits with you a couple of months. Decide to move her into a full-time care facility. You are determined to take care of her by yourself. Don't trust Daniel. With the hell is that? Bang, 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 bang. It is impossibly hard. The worst is when you get like when she tries to cook her own food. You can't do anything without her. She can't do anything without you. She goes to sleep, you stay up for a few hours, drinking on the deck, watching baseball in the summer, college basketball in the winter. You start going out after you put her to bed. First time you do it, you worry about her getting up and walking around while you're gone. You put a chair in front of the bedroom door. You trust that she sleeps like a rock. Bitch up. You go to the same bar at the boring end of Pearl Street. It's nice there. Over time, you tell Sheila, the bartender, everything. It's a huge weight off you. You're home and in bed at 1 a.m. A couple nights a week. We look forward to those nights. <laughs> Excuse me, I had to sneeze. I lost it. And then the sneeze returned. 1989. One night, you're stopped at a DUI checkpoint. Oh shit! You blow point ten. Taken to jail for the night. You consider trying to hide it, but you can tell the sister, your sister-in-law, Susan. Julia's parents take the next plane from Australia. You can't believe the state your house is in. Then you tell, then they tell you Julia is coming to live with them. You don't argue. You say you'll visit soon. A few weeks go by. Summer is coming, and you see an ad in the paper for a job. You don't have a job at this point yet? You take it. What the hell have you been doing? Loading. Enter the lookout tower. Don't 
rush me. The singular mind is some dude. Glory. Put a dark font of dark. Left shift. Um, hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? Ooh. That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine. Then can I like, sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. So he hiked for eight miles. Granted, I know eight miles is far. Two days, though? Two days to hike eight miles? Come on. Come on now. Come on. Come on. Okay. You're just gonna wait me out on this? Ugh, fine. Hey. But I'm gonna take a second here and have a guess about you. Let's see. I don't know anything about you. I say you got fired from your job and have finally decided to write your novel. That's the sort of bullshit reason you'll find a man out yeah, but it's over. Good night. Welcome to the job. Oh. Uh. Yeah. Mom's spaghetti. Good morning, Henry. Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. Hey. Sorry, guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Whew. Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's what, six? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Uh, nope, don't see it. <laughs> okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing, um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. Out your west-facing window, are you seeing what I'm seeing? I don't know which way is what. Fireworks? Oh, compass. And do you use compass? Northwest? Good. I need you to confirm. Do you see them? No. Seriously, are you seeing this? Stop nagging, son of a bitch. Northwest. Oh, oh, fireworks.
Okay. I mean. Whoa. That's nice. Right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. <laughs> Fire danger is through the. Is that northwest? This is, is that west. Really my job. Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set him straight. Do you think you can handle that? Like, kick the shit out of him sort of straight? No, 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 no. Jesus, no. What? I'm not a cop. It's not like I've got a rule book over here. Just make sure they don't do it again. Take their shit. All right, fine. Don't feed anyone a knuckle sandwich. Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is 1234. It's actually that for all of them. Smart. Shut up. Space puffs. Beans. <laughs> Floor talks. Lookout cookbook. Region four. Special force of Miami. I said Miami. for two forks. Okay. Now you know there would be a pinup poster. Oh man, what was her name in like the seventies? Like, they have that same picture everywhere you went in, like, some redneck cabin you went to. Oh, who was it? James Fonda or somebody? Oh. When he decided to die, we can play some D&D. &D. No, come back. <laughs> I want to drop it. I want to keep it. Fine. I don't know. Put it back in the door. There we go. <laughs> yep, I will follow it. That's the one. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> That's awesome. map that doesn't really tell me where to go I mean there's really only one trail anyways if I'm just following the trail wasn't that west there's west
Jonesy Lake. 0.7 miles. Guy we need a can't jump, can't run. I wonder why it took him two days to get here. Forks, Jonesy Lake. It was this way still. Hey man, guy couldn't take it, so I locked up, locked up his lookout and put some stuff in the box. Found one of those bars he liked. Hiking in the park, but let's get fucked when I'm back. All right. Buddy. Eat. I think I'm going that way. Ooh, hard to travel. Ooh, nice. Walking, 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 walking. Oh boy. Three feet the dude just dropped. Brutal. Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No, I think I'll rope. Like it. Be careful for Christ's sake. Oops. Take that, Mike. 
Microphone. <laughs> Which way am I going? Apparently not that way. I hit the microphone with my hand. I like punched it. Like a little bitch. So exciting. Oh boy. Oh look, they decided to have a campfire too. The idiots down at the lake? Yeah, them. I just found where they're hanging out. Can't go through their shit? I will take if you don't mind. Oh shit, ferret or Irish? Hang them all. Uh, save for later. Yes, please. She is ordering a chipotle, or as I call it, chipotle, because there's no A-Y. Rude in Wyoming. Red Eagle. Clean up. Up after these fools now. I was just taking it. Two pairs of clothes. There must be four people. I know numbers. A bra. Bring that leader. Twenties. Wearing that later, too. Come on, get it. Get it. Come on. Bitch. Four girls. Found item. Found them in the lake, naked. Skinny dipping. Yeah. Oh boy. Enjoy dealing with that. Oh, 
stereo. Oh, hey, check it out. Look, Darius, he was expensive. Fucking cool it with the fireworks. You should put it down. He won't light anymore. Is this guy's tiny dick cool? <laughs> you probably have a tiny dick. Chelsea, it's my boombox. Here we go. Looks like this one to the other side of the lake or something. Oh, my God. You're gross. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Hey, that go okay? <laughs> well, look, if you can hear me, try to get back soon, okay? It's getting late. Can't say anything else. That's it. Here, right here, really just a cool radio. Have them make fun of me and then just leave. <sighs> All right. You fell prey to the Forest Service's big recruiting effort when it comes to, you know, how the hell you ended up out here. Uh, sorry, I don't really know what you mean by recruiting effort. Oh, after last summer. You know, budgets went through the roof, a lookout and every lookout for the first time in 20 years. Last summer? Oh, come on, you're from Denver, not Delaware. This was national news for Pete's sake. Boulder. I'm from Boulder. Same diff. Oh, I can't reply. Numbers are hard. Eight twenty nine eighty six. Ron got some bad news back ho back at home. Hopefully, they'll let me out. Up here for a while. Who's to say, though? Budgets being what they are. You get my note about what went down in Whippeta? Whippity? That pity? Sheriff isn't too pleased with me. But I don't know. I probably overdid it. Wish you would have been here. Guess you might have got that. Hung up. Dave. Yes. Amigo is Spanish for Professionalis. Oh, and professional time. Old sweater. I found a sweatshirt from the University of Eastern Colorado. There's a University of Eastern Colorado? I really don't think there is. Why would somebody make that up? Right, and then put it on a sweatshirt. The world's a weird place. Yeah. He was on, like, yesterday, and he just never logged out. I'm just littering all over the place. Pick that up. Put it... it Where the hell did it go now? Yes, I'm gonna close this thing and it's back here. Oh my god! 
<laughs> oh well. Uh, that's where I came from. I can go back and shoot my own damn firework. I confiscated from them. Spooky, uh, spoopy? The spoopy game? It is definitely a spoopy game. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know, I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. Think fireworks again? What the hell is that? Only wants the D. Why are things like exploding in midair? I can run backwards. I have no idea what that's about. Pretty much. Damn combustible birds. Oh boy, nearby storm. Yeah, it's like an Alfred Hitchcock movie. Except they spread bird flu on combustion. And vertigo. Danger, bravery, the great outdoors, defend our frontier. Deer? How's a deer going to forget? Okay, whatever. Pick up horns? Salmon? Yep. They are, they are horns. Non-working flashlight. Um, maybe, oh! cave. Good place to be. E access available at Ranger Station. Dubios! Uboas! Wyoming. This is where I'm supposed to go where the waves came from.
I see that I go this way. Can I have gone the other way? There's something that I will come back to later. What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave? <laughs> yeah. Well, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. I get good brain. So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. Great. Used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. It doesn't seem that dangerous. Whoa, whoa! Oh, no! Henry! Seriously, it's completely fine in here. God damn it! It's a walking simulator. Firefly. Fireflies. I'm going the right way. Did I take the scenic route or something? Holy shit, that's far. Where am I at right now? Am I right there? Am I that blinking thing? Am I going the wrong way? Wait, where's the lookout tower? You forks look out. Okay. I think I'm going the wrong way. Where am I going? I'm going east. Wait a minute. That can't be me. Let's move a little bit and then we'll. That is me. I'm going the wrong direction. I need to go this way. That's a person. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, and we're there. Out who that person was that was over here. that person go <laughs> a climbing simulator Made it back. Typewriter, oh, that's not gonna be. That was up there. This place is trashed. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker. Holy shit. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. What can they do about it? Will they catch whoever did it? This is the Forest Service, Henry. They're Alrighty. not exactly Hawaii Five-O. Do you have any idea? Who I may uh, stop streaming for just a bit. We take a break, get ready to eat, and then probably back on here shortly. Uh, what are your plans for tonight? I, I can't believe someone would do this. I mean, I worry about bears and fires, and that's if, about it. And if you want to do something together at first, then I won't. Oh, right, we can start now if you want. Down in Cody. They keep a list of or whatever you get ready to come on. In and out of the trailhead since, All right. I don't know, forever. And hey, I'll go take a break. List of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. Yes, sir. Will do, sir. Feel safe out here. Just point me to the Forest Service weapons cache and I'll feel safer than the Pope in his little car. Yeah, uh, someone made the choice years ago that leaving people with infinite amounts of alone time and a gun was kind of a bad idea. Oh, dumb. Grenades? I'll see what I can do. Day two. Up. 
All right, can I exit here is the question. Oh, do I exit? I can't do it yet. I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. All right. Well, on that note, I'm going to take me a break. Uh, try to get some food. Probably back on in about, oh, 30 minutes to an hour. Roughly. But I will see you then. Zach. And I will be back. Later.